Welcome to our Toronto. My name is Mia Nielsen. I'm the director of the fair. Today, I am thrilled to share this talk with you. We have Lauren and Del Pullman, two Calgary collectors who over 20 years have amassed a, a really significant collection of conceptual works. They're gonna tell you about a really special piece that they acquired during the pandemic. I'm gonna let them take it away. Enjoy. We began collecting um, contemporary art when we were in university together. Yeah, we've been actively collecting. So that was a long time ago when we bought our, acquired our first work, but we've been actively collecting for uh, over 30 years um, and uh, strictly uh, contemporary Canadian art. And it, uh, it spans the country uh, in terms of uh, the artists that we're collecting in the galleries we deal with. And yeah, and um, I mean, we started off collecting very, in, very small uh, pieces, un, up and coming artists, um, then we increased the, the number of pieces we'd be purchasing a year. Typically, at the beginning, it was mostly paintings. Yeah. Um, and then we moved into more some photography, and then we moved into sculpture. And then most recently, we've moved into acquiring video work. Uh, the video work comes from uh, a growing interest in conceptual work and, and challenging ourselves um, as you know through conceptual painting drawing uh, sculpture um, and video fits fits well into that so that's essentially how we we've started uh, moving into video it wasn't certainly a place that we anticipated our collecting going um, and at the moment, I believe we have uh, 20 uh, video works by a variety of, of Canadian artists. The one thing we really like about, uh, about video work is, is the fact that you do have to spend uh, and commit time to engage with them. Um, I think most people have heard that the average viewing time for, for an artwork, for example, in a museum is something like 10 seconds. Uh, video work uh, requires you to to uh, invest more time. Um, yeah, and the piece that we purchased, uh, one of the pieces that we purchased during COVID, um, Timeline, but by Dave Diamond, it's an hour and a half video? Approximately, Approximately yeah. an hour and a half. So I've never sat down in one chunk to watch it, but you're always seeing something new. And it's, it's wonderful that when you turn it on, um, it's engaging always because you're coming in at a different time. Um, you're just looking at it differently. Uh, Dave views himself as uh, an archivist uh, of uh, contemporary culture, and he takes snippets of of, uh, of, of our culture, whether it's music or uh, or film, and uh, collects these and reorders them uh, to make uh, make sense of things and, and create a different perspective of of these. Uh, of these little moments, be it music or, or film, um, so uh, that that reordering of things puts puts things into different contexts. Um, and right now, we've so that's what how he views himself. And right now, the, the as Lauren was saying, the video is on the floor, um, and we don't sit and watch it completely as a, it's an hour and a half, but because of where it's located, we engage with it as we move through the house. We're, we're constantly seeing it and we can stop for, for 30 seconds, five minutes. Uh, one of the seats on the, on the sofa uh, faces it so we can en engage with it that way. The nice thing about collecting video work too is that we don't have a lot of wall space and so collecting video work you can show numerous different works without having to do a rehang so it makes it really easy to um, show something new and it's I mean we have two videos that are two TVs that are solely dedicated to video work one's in the kitchen one's on the floor of the living room and uh, we can rotate through uh, numerous pieces um, because it makes it's just easy to do in video yeah depending on our mood yeah. we, we can sort of do a, a rehang there you go the Dave Diamond uh, piece timeline uh, is on a screen on the floor here, um, that uh, that just allows us a different viewing perspective of uh, 
of his work and various other uh, videos that we show behind on. us on the plinth is uh, a 1990 work uh, in steel by Isla Burns from Alberta. And on the wall is a pin piece from a couple of years ago by Aaron Vincent from Toronto. So, so the uh, Dave Diamond's video timeline uh, has taken all these snippets from films um, where in the segments they um, uh, have a place and a date uh, associated with them. And he has ordered these uh, uh, as time goes on from starting at about 17,000 BC in order uh, right out into the out into the future uh, at about 2400 AD something like that but it because this is called timeline it's about time and and how uh, these uh, these snippets these moments that he's collected and reordered uh, gets us to look at uh, what is happening on the screen and as time goes on uh, from 17,000 BC, we see the world change and uh, um, right up through uh, present day. It's, uh, it's quite fascinating. It gets us thinking about time and uh, how during the pandemic, it became something that was lost. We couldn't, we couldn't place ourselves where we were, whether it was a work day or a weekend. Time, um marks events and events mark time. So those are very interchangeable for me. And I think the last thing I remember a specific timeline was the day that um, our office chose to work from home. And I can remember the exact day, I can remember the exact moment. And ever since that time with COVID, time is just, I think you referred to it as being fluid, Del. It just, you know, you wake up and you'd say, what day is it? Well, it's just day. It's, it's not Monday, it's not Tuesday, because every day is exactly the same and has been for a lot of people for the last year and a half. We've been doing it yeah. every year except last year for 20 years? Mm -hmm. Going to the art fair? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 20 years. 20 years? Uh, yeah, we st our first year was 2003. Yeah. The new season of openings at various galleries. There's openings tonight in Calgary at a couple of galleries, another gallery tomorrow. Um, Del and I just were fortunate enough to be in Ottawa last a couple of weeks ago when we went to the national which is such a wonderful thing to be able to do um we haven't been able to do that and travel in a year and a half because of the pandemic but our just our ability to be going and back in and seeing new works um is really exciting yeah there's uh as, as far as something specific that we're uh we're looking forward to i think just the whole getting out and seeing artwork in person right now uh yes we'll be having to wear masks but uh it'll be it'll be nice to get out there and and, and we are very much looking forward to uh, what will be happening uh, at our toronto with the fair and seeing uh seeing what the what the various galleries bring we always like to be a little bit surprised you know we we often uh do in advance call various galleries and find out uh, try to get a sneak peek but we want to leave Often? it. Yeah, but all the time. <laughs> but but we do like to be surprised and uh, um, and 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 see see where where we will uh, take the collection. Yeah, and I'm I'm curious too. I think that you know with new works from various artists that we currently collect because we do collect in depth, um, how the the pandemic pandemic has influenced their their work and you know is that something that we're going to see more of um, within some of the artists that we collect or new artists that we'll be looking at that to me is something that um, will be very interesting